Hey, hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Conchinsula, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. So, Niantic revealed all of the details regarding the next in-game event in Pokemon Go, and I have to tell you, there's a lot of things to look forward to with this event. I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know regarding the World Championships tie-in event, and I do think that this is one of those events that you should definitely pay attention to, especially if you are a battler. Alright, so with that said, let's roll the intro and get right into it. Okay, so the next in-game event is going to be related to the Pokemon World Championships, which is going to be happening in London. This event is going to take place from Thursday, August 18th, 2022 at 10 a.m. local time until Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022 at 8 p.m. local time. TLDR for this event, it's going to be related specifically to battling. There's going to be a lot of bonuses related to the Go Battle League, and a lot of the event spawns are going to be some of the most relevant Pokemon for the Go Battle League's Great League and Ultra League. There's a couple of surprises with this event that you do not want to miss out on, especially when it comes to the exclusive moves of past Community Day Pokemon. And of course, there's going to be a lot of event bonuses as well as a timed research that's going to be specific to the Go Battle League, so if you are a battler, then you are going to have a really good time with this event. So first and foremost, let's talk about what Pokemon is going to debut with this event. We're not getting ourselves a brand new shiny or a new Pokedex entry, but we are going to be getting ourselves a really exclusive and unique Pikachu costume, and it is going to be the World Championships 2022 Pikachu. Considering that this in-game event is going to be specifically tied to the 2022 World Championships, this Pikachu might actually become a rare collector's item. I don't think this particular costumed Pikachu is going to make a return into the game anytime soon. So therefore, I highly suggest you go out and catch as many of these as you possibly can, because players who start the game after this event may not necessarily have this particular Pokemon, so they will probably ask for it in trades in the future. And on top of that, if you're lucky enough to get a shiny of this Pikachu, it could become one of the rarest Pokemon in the game, so definitely go out and look for that shiny, and if you happen to get one, make sure you hold on to it because it's going to be a very rare collector's item. Alright, next let's get into the event bonuses because all of these are going to be related to the Go Battle League and if you are someone who is very active in the Go Battle League, then this is going to be extremely rewarding for you. But if you are someone like me who doesn't really care about the Go Battle League as much as other players, well, this might be the one event where you might want to go hard on the Go Battle League. First and foremost, there's going to be NPC challengers at different Pokestops, and they're going to be themed around all of the trainers who won the Pokemon Go Regional Championships. So if you want to challenge any of these trainers, well, look for these challenge battles at different Pokestops. Now when it comes to the Go Battle League itself, you're going to be able to get three times the amount of Stardust from Go Battle League win rewards. That is a pretty big deal because the Go Battle League already is a pretty substantial source of Stardust. You're going to pick yourself up a lot more Stardust during this event, so you do not want to miss out on that. You're also going to have the chance to do a lot more battles than usual. You're going to be able to do a total of 10 sets as opposed to 5 per day for a total of 50 battles. This means that if you are trying to grind out your ranks, this will be a great opportunity for you to get extra battles in so that you could get higher in your ranks. Next up, there's going to be a timed research during this event which will award you with a World Championships 2022 Pikachu, but you're also going to be getting an Elite Fast TM as well as an Elite Charge TM for free. This is a pretty big deal because both of these TMs are extremely valuable regardless if you PvP or do raid battles, and I do think that any opportunity you have to get these items for free, you should definitely take advantage of it. Right, I also mentioned earlier that the wild encounters for this event are going to be centered around the Go Battle League. Well, that is definitely true because a vast majority of these wild spawns are Pokemon that are relevant for the Great League or they evolve into Pokemon that are going to be great for the Great League and Ultra League. Starting off, we're going to have Nidoran Female, Mankey, Machop, Mudkip, Sableye, Metatite, Swablu, Sfeel, Krogunk, and Dewpiter spawning in the wild. 
And if you're lucky, you will encounter Scraggy and Galarian Stunfisk as well. Every single one of these Pokemon can be meta relevant in the Great League as well as the Ultra League, and some of the ones that really stand out are of course Feel, which evolves into Walrein, Mudkip, which evolves into Swampert, and then of course Galarian Stunfisk, which is just great all around. Metatite and Scraggy also evolve into Pokemon that are top tier, so yeah, just in general, this is a phenomenal event for people who are looking for the best Pokemon for the Go Battle League. And then of course, when you look at the raid battles, it's going to be pretty much the same, where there's going to be a lot of meta relevant Pokemon that you can collect for the Go Battle League. In one star raids, there's going to be the World Championships 2022 Pikachu, which is of course the new costume Pikachu. You're also going to see Galarian Farfetch, Meryl, Barboach, Timber, and Scraggy. In three star raids, you're going to come across Primeape, Lickitung, and Skarmory. And then finally, we're going to have the legendary Pokemon Zacyan and Zamazenta spawning in 5 star raids. Now between the two, Zacyan is obviously the most ideal one, considering just how powerful it is right now in the Master League. So that is the one that I would focus on, but if you do not have yourself a Zamazenta yet, then this will be a great opportunity for you to pick that up as well. In Mega Raids, we're going to have Mega Slowbro, which I don't necessarily think is that relevant right now, but in any case, yeah, that's going to be the Mega Raid during this in-game event. Event. Next, let's look at what the potential Pokemon can be in field research tasks. A lot of these Pokemon also evolve into some pretty meta relevant Pokemon for the Ultra League and Master League as well as the Great League, and they include Bulbasaur, the World Championships 2022 Pikachu, Ghastly, Rhyhorn, Magikarp, Chikorita, Mudkip, Galarian Zigzagoon, Beldum, Galarian Stunfisk, and Fletchling. Now that I'm looking at it, a vast majority of these Pokemon evolve into those who are really good for the Ultra League and Master League. More specifically, when you think about Fletchling and Bulbasaur, both of those Pokemon evolve into some of the top meta Pokemon for the Ultra League. And then of course with Rhyhorn and Beldum, they evolve into some of the most powerful Pokemon for the Master League. And then with Mudkip, it does evolve into Swampert, which of course is a powerful Pokemon for both the Great League and the Ultra League. All right, and finally, this is probably the one bonus that's going to set this event apart. Certain Pokemon that you evolve during this event will be able to learn their Community Day moves. If you evolve a Rhydon into Rhyperior, it's going to know the exclusive move Rock Wrecker. Haunter that you evolve into Gengar is going to know the Community Day move Shadow Punch. Magikarp that you evolve into Gyarados is going to have the Charge Attack Aqua Tail. Evolving Metang into Metagross is going to get you the super powerful move Meteor Mash. And finally, any Fletchinder that you evolve into Talonflame is going to know Incinerate. So yeah, overall, this is the core feature of this event that you do not want to miss out on. Especially when it comes to certain Pokemon like Metagross with Meteor Mash, that is a really powerful Pokemon, not just for the Go Battle League, but also with Raid Battles as well. So yeah, that's probably the one that you will want to focus on. If you do not have a Metagross with Meteor Mash, then this is your opportunity to pick that up. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty excited about this event. There's a lot to look forward to and some great opportunities for us to get some really powerful Pokemon for the Go Battle League, but considering that not a lot of people are actually part participating in the Go Battle League as of late, this could be a forgettable event for a lot of players. So I totally understand that not a lot of things in this event is not going to appeal to the masses, but if you are a battler, definitely utilize this event to its fullest potential. But in any case, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to talk about this event, but let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think about this World Championships in-game event? Are you excited about certain Pokemon? Are you excited about some of the bonuses? Definitely share why in the comments below and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, then do consider checking out the links in the description below. But in case, yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Countinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.